In this video, I will show you how to use a Profinet IO enabled PLC to change the options on the VisionHawk smart camera. If you look at my screen, on the right side, you see the AutoVision program connected to a running VisionHawk. This VisionHawk has been preloaded with four different jobs. Job number one counts. Job number two reads printed text. Job number three reads a 2D code. And job number four does location. Right now, job number one for counting is running and you can see the counters update here. At the left side of my screen, we're looking at the somatic manager for configuring a PLC. I'm already connected to the PLC. In order to see the system, you double click on hardware. I have a controller connected through Profinet IO to a VisionHawk smart camera. We are currently online. So if you want to view the data on the VisionHawk, you select it, and we can take a close look at the available slots. In the slots, from bottom to top, you'll find the microscan link values, the virtual inputs and the virtual outputs, and then the command and status fields that we will use in this job change demonstration. In order to view these fields, you simply right click and select monitor modify. And as you can see, I've already pre-created some of these monitoring fields. What you will see in the center here is the camera status. And as you can see, it's online, running, and capturing images. To the left of that, we have the control fields. And with the control fields, I can control functions on the camera, such as going online, going offline, triggering, and important for a job change function, I can execute commands. At the bottom, I have the command code. This is a code that you can find in the manual. And this code determines what job change function to perform. There is a command argument. And this is the field that you use to identify your job. Basically, you enter the job number here. There's a command return field, which can be used for querying what your job is currently running on the camera. So let's say that I want to change from current job number one to the decode job number three. The first thing you do is you enter command code here. If you look at the menu under command code for going offline, switching job, loading the job, and going online again, it's 13 followed by six zeros. We enter that value. And then we make sure the camera gets updated. The next step is to select the job we want to switch to, which is three in our case. There it is. Again, we update the camera. The last step is to tell the camera that we need to change job. And we do that by setting the execute command bit and updating it. And what you can see right now, the camera went offline. The job is changing. And when the camera comes back online again, we have a different job. So I can clear the command execute bit again. And as I know that this is a trigger job, what I will do is I will set the trigger bit to one. Update both. And as you can see, I've triggered the camera. It has captured an image and is now decoding. As you can also see, we are back online again. So if you do the same going back to job number one, so set this bit to zero. I set the job number to job number one, and then I will trigger. So I'll make sure that the fields are updated. And right now you can see the job changing again, and the camera is offline again, and now it's back. And job number one didn't have a triggered mode, so it starts reading right away. And the last thing to show you is how to query what job is currently on the camera. And the command code for that is 18, one, eight. Update the fields. Again, I have to execute the command. So I first have to set it back to zero and then to one again and update it. In the command return field, you can now see which job is running. And that's job number one, as it is here. And this is how to change a job using Profinet I.O.